Hey there YouTube, so I guess this is going to be my first video. What I've got here is my electric conversion of a 1967 Kawasaki A1SS. Uh, I bought this here a couple months ago specifically just to convert. It had been sitting outside for quite some time, the motor didn't run on it. Uh, so I'm going to give it some new life. I'm planning on using it for riding back and forth to my college campus. I go to OSU in Corvallis, Oregon. Uh, so, let me show you guys a little bit what I got going on here. So, for my motor controller, I've got an Alltrax AXE 4834. For my motor, I've got a Montenergy MEO 708. Uh, a lot of people call these motors Mars motors. It's got the E-Tech mounting pattern. Uh, it can run 100 amps continuous and 300 amps for up to 60 seconds. Uh, which is plenty enough power for what I'm going to be using it for. Uh, under the seat here, I've got my main contactor down there at the bottom to turn on the main power to the controller to power the motor and all. Uh, right here, this little box with the wires coming out of it, that's my DC to DC converter to run the lights and stuff. And then I've got a couple of relays here to turn things on and off using the 12 volt switches on the bike so I can power the 48 volts for the controller and the and the contactor there. Uh, so I'll show you guys a little bit what's working here. So that's the switch in the on position. I also have a big main cutoff switch over here that I already had on. Uh, you can see my voltmeter here, reading 50.3 volts, little lights in the instrument panel, blinkers and stuff, sort of work, my blinker relay is kind of screwed up, brake light, and if I flip open the seat here, I'll plug in the power to my main contactor so I can run the motor for you guys here real quick. Hear the click of the contactor going on there. Uh, eventually I'm going to hook up a kill switch for that instead of having a plug underneath. It'll be on the handlebars. I just don't have one yet. Give you guys a little throttle here. This motor's got a top RPM rated speed of 3,500 RPM at 48 volts. Uh, I'm planning on gearing this with a with a 10 tooth sprocket for the drive, and then just leaving the 40 tooth on the rear, which should give me a top speed of probably around 60 miles an hour is what I'm expecting, based on my gearing calculations and stuff. That's just kind of an approximate though. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be posting more updates soon.